how you doing? I'm in a different room. Oh my gosh. So my family is about to start decorating for the holidays. And my mother and I just finished a beautiful puzzle. Um, and I, whenever I finish a puzzle, I always seal it shut. Um, and I need to do that before we start decorating for the holidays. Otherwise, the puzzle is going to get lost in the chaos forever. So we are going to be sealing a puzzle today. We're just going to hang out, drink a cup of tea, and have a good time. So let's get started. So what you need to seal a puzzle isn't a lot. You really just need some Mod Podge, a big paintbrush. This one is just like a cheap one I got, you know, at like a hardware store. I also use a littler paintbrush. This is like a little craft one. Just really get into like those little nooks to make sure everything is sealed in nicely. And I also just keep a little bit of paper towel on hand if I need to like wipe anything down or if I make a mess. Um, so sealing a puzzle is really easy. I'm going to open my Mod Podge and I'm basically just gonna kind of start by pouring some of it out on the puzzle. There's a lot of ways to do it. This is how I do it. It works for me. And I take my big brush and I just kind of start. Oh, I made a mess already. Okay, hold on. Oh dear. And this is why you keep paper towel on hand because I just flung Mod Podge all the way across the room. Whoops, daisies. <laughs> um, so you basically just, just brush it all in. It's really simple. of my first coat on um, it's all covered all the way around so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a little bit of Mod Podge my thing is almost empty so that should be interesting I'm just gonna go through and find like some of the pieces that I feel like might need a little filling in in between and just kind of fill in those gaps I also got some wet paper towel just so I can wrap up my brushes in it so they don't like uh, dry out. So I'm just gonna wrap this brush up. You can't see it. Uh -huh. I basically just took this brush that I used and I wrapped it up in a wet paper towel just so it can um, not dry out and get all like glued shut. I'm also gonna just take a little bit more, you probably noticed me focusing in on this centerpiece here. Wow, you're gonna choose right now to eat? Okay, that's fine. Um, because this centerpiece uh, has been through some things. Uh, my wonderful dog stole one of the pieces and she chewed it up. Uh, but that's okay. It just adds a little bit more character to the puzzle and it makes it one of a kind, which is really nice. Um, so I have my first coat entirely done. I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to let my dog eat. And I am going to drink some tea. But we'll see you back in a little while. Hey, guess what? I just realized that all of the audio from the first half of me stealing the puzzle didn't record. Um, I have my backup audio which is not as good sounding, but that's my life. <laughs> um, so if you want to see me mess up all the time, why don't you subscribe to my channel? Anyhow, whew, 
Uh, so this is almost dry. I have just a little bit that's still wet in here, um, but it's been about 10 minutes or so. So I'm just going to gently lift up the puzzle and feel like around the edges, see if they feel pretty tight, if they feel loose at all. Um, you can see he where here, these pieces are feeling a little bit like they're gonna fall out. So I am going to just go back in with my smaller brush and I'm just gonna fill those in a little bit more. I'm gonna do a second coat on the back side of the puzzle, um, but I just wanna make sure that it's all like sealed really, really tightly. So that's why I'm just gonna go back in and try to get as much into these like little crevices as possible. So I have all my holes filled. I am just going to leave this until all of these like remaining white areas of Mod Podge turn entirely clear. And once that happens, I'll check back in. All right, so my puzzle is entirely dry. So I am going to go ahead and very, very carefully flip it over so that I can seal the back side of it so it has an extra layer of protection. So I'm gonna do it the same way I did the front where I take my large brush and I'm just going to pour some over and start spreading it around. Oh no, oh, I'm almost out. I'm hoping I have enough to finish up. Okay, well, I'm not getting anything more out of this bottle. It is literally empty and like scraped clean. Um, so we are just gonna leave it like this. I'm going to let it dry and then I will test it uh, once it dries a little bit and hopefully it will be sealed enough. Fingers crossed. Hello, it's the next day. I decided to let my puzzle dry overnight and it is now all nice and pretty and glued together and stable, which is really good. I have decided I'm gonna do one extra step. Um, I do have puzzles that I've sealed hanging in my basement, which I'm inserting a clip of right now. And they are just like the puzzle hung on the wall, which I know probably not the smartest thing to do, um, but they are starting to warp a little bit. I need to get frames for them. So with this one, I've decided I'm going to glue a piece of cardboard to the back. So I have this big old box. So I am just going to take my puzzle. Let me move this. I'm just gonna set it on here, kind of like this. And I'm just gonna hot glue it down onto this box and then I'm gonna cut around the edges with an X-Acto knife um, just so I have a little bit of a sturdier backing to my puzzle. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. There 
we go. So now the puzzle just has, you know, a board on the back um, just to make it a little bit more stable. Um, but there you have it. There is our sealed puzzle. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, leave me a comment down below, tell me what you want to see me do next. And if you seal your own puzzle, my social media is in the description below. Send it to me. I'd love to see what you guys have been doing. And until next week, goodbye.